lead acid battery so you can understand from the name it contains lead electrodes and acid electrolyte solution that is the reason it is called lead acid battery now not only that it is also known as lead accumulator lead accumulator means uh, during the battery operations when the battery is uh, operating as voltaic cell are discharging or producing electricity the lead sulfate is uh, accumulated near the electrodes it is deposited uh, in the form of lead sulfate so it is also called as a lead accumulator now let us see the construction of this battery in this battery electrodes are made of uh, lead grids so lead grids uh, like uh, mesh you know, wire gauge or mesh uh, or baskets are there so these lead grids are filled with the spongy lead and lead dioxide so anode lead grid is filled with the spongy lead or lead grid so lead is uh, anode in the lead acid battery and cathode lead grid is filled with the lead dioxide paste or spongy lead dioxide so cathode is uh, lead dioxide in this battery and uh, electrolyte used is generally sulfuric acid so acid so it varies the concentration varies from about 20 to 25 percent uh, depending on the requirement and uh, the density of this uh, 20 percent when density is uh, 1.21 to 1.3 grams per ml now we can represent this battery with uh, lead lead sulfate sulfuric acid lead sulfate lead dioxide lead so this is a cell representation and the voltage of one battery is about 2 volts so here you can see there is one separator so this separator may be made of some polymer polymer or um, cellophane tape like that or teflon or any wood separator will be there and uh, it separates uh, both uh, anode and cathode and uh, uh, the acid is in contact with both the electrodes now uh, the, a single battery is producing a net emf of 2 volts if we take a car battery car battery consists of total six uh, cells such cells so they are connected in a series so the net uh, voltage of the battery is 12 volts here you can see these are the lead lead dioxide grids which are in red color this is color so all are connected in a series you can see across this this is a some wire it is connecting all the lead grids and they are connected to this terminal positive terminal similarly the blue color plates are lead plates so lead grids they are also connected in this way in a series and these are connected to this terminal negative terminal they are connected in a series so each lead lead these lead plates blue color and red color anode and cathodes are separated with some um, insulator insulating paper like plastic or polymer and uh, we have the chambers like this in each chamber we have one cell total six cells you can we can observe six cells are connected in a series the net voltage the total output of this battery is 12 volts here you can see this is a chamber so this is one chamber so this is a chamber so in between we have the grids so these are the lead grids uh, anode grids and cathode grids suppose if we take this red color or cathode grids and blue color are the lead grids so they are alternatively arranged this is blue again this is red in this way they are arranged alternatively now working of this battery it is a secondary battery it can act operate both as galvanic cell as well as electrolytic cell when the cell is producing electricity that means when it is discharging it operates as a voltaic cell or galvanic cell now here during the discharging anode lead that is uh, the spongy lead anode undergo oxidation by releasing the two electrons so lead in zero oxidation state is converted to plus two oxidation state now so this lead uh, two plus uh, combines with sulfate and will be deposited as lead sulfate near the anode we can observe the deposition of the lead sulfate near the anode in this way 
so uh, com by combining two reactions i can write uh, lead plus uh, sulfate uh, giving rise to lead sulfate plus two electrons this is the anodic reaction during the discharging similarly cathode near cathode lead dioxide cathode we have so this lead dioxide uh, involves the reduction reaction so the lead uh, in this lead dioxide is in plus four oxidation state plus four oxidation state in this way so that is converted to plus two oxidation state means two electrons are taken by the lead and converted into lead two plus in presence of the acid H plus ions so and also it is producing two moles of the water molecule and this release lead the lead which is produced near the cathode immediately combines with the sulfate and get deposited as the lead sulfate lead sulfate now deposited at cathode so you can understand now at both the electrodes lead sulfate is deposited at both the electrodes lead sulfate is deposited uh, even for uh, oxidation reaction at anode and uh, reduction reaction at cathode both the reactions uh, yield lead sulfate which is accumulated near the respective electrodes now combining uh, this cathodic reaction we can write uh, lead to lead dioxide plus 4h plus plus sulfate uh, ion plus two electrons giving rise to lead sulfate and two moles of water molecule now the overall net cell reaction the overall cell reaction we can write as lead this lead is from the anode so here this lead which is from here and lead dioxide this is from the cathode means from this equation i am combining and 4h plus this is a 4h plus which is from the cathodic reaction and two sulfates so two sulfates one sulfate from anode and one sulfate from the cathode reaction so two sulfates so commonly we can write as 2h2so4 also instead of writing 4h plus plus 2so4 2 minus we can write as 2h2so4 which is giving rise to two moles of lead sulfate so this two moles of lead sulfate one is from the cathodic reaction and uh, the second one is from the anodic reaction so two moles of uh, lead sulfate uh, obtained and uh, two moles of water from the cathodic reaction and uh, energy is produced this energy is nothing but electrical energy and uh, from this discharging reaction one should understand that uh, the acid is consumed in the reaction the acid sulfuric acid is consumed during this discharging of the battery uh, or when the cell is operating as voltaic cell so concentration of sulfuric acid decreases uh, with the discharging reaction of this battery now when the battery is exhausted again we can recharge it uh, by connecting to the external source of emf whose uh, emf is infinitesimally greater than this battery and uh, now the cell operates like a electrolytic cell during the charging now so exactly whatever the reactions the uh, the discharging reactions uh, occurred uh, they must be reversed in the same direction during the charging so that it is called as a rechargeable battery now near cathode so what happened in the discharging reaction lead dioxide is converted to lead sulfate so same reaction is reversed in now the lead sulfate is again converted into lead dioxide by taking the water and uh, releasing the two electrons and near the anode and whatever the lead oxidized are converted to lead sulfate again that is producing the lead and uh, we can write that net cell reaction in reverse direction mm energy plus 2 lead sulfate plus 2 h2o which is producing the lead lead dioxide and 2 moles of sulfuric acid in this way we can write the charging reaction so it is a this lead battery lead acid battery is a secondary battery we can use it through number of discharging and charging cycles now come to the advantages the main advantage is it is highly efficient the voltage efficiency of this battery is about 80 percent 
80 percent efficient and this voltage efficiency calculated by using this formula average voltage during discharging and by average voltage during charging so this formula gives the voltage efficiency and about 80 percent voltage efficiency we can observe in case of this lead acid battery and not only that it has a good service for several years it provides more service about some 20 to 30 years with a good maintenance so when we carefully attend this battery definitely it gives a so its lifetime goes to about 20 to 30 years of service now um, and not only that it can be charged so approximately it range this charging ranges from 300 to 1500 times we can uh, ch charge it so discharging and charging cycles uh, about 300 to 1500 uh, we can uh, uh, observe depending on the battery design and uh, conditions and uh, when we check the self discharging the self discharging is a uh, very low for this battery so very low then self discharging it owns so that is the main advantage of the battery and also the time taken for recharging process is very less the length of time is very less for the recharging process and uh, it shows very low environmental impact uh, the materials used in uh, battery are not uh, causing any harm to the environment and uh, it has a sensitivity to rough handling and good safety characteristics so that is the reason it is also used in the automobiles and uh, not only that easy of servicing so as indicated by several local battery service points so uh, in any battery service point uh, so almost uh, it, uh, all the battery mechanics so they can service this battery easily it is a low cost battery so with facil with facilities for manufacture throughout the world using cheaper material and uh, limitations so self discharging though the self discharging is less so here uh, this self discharging is uh, subjected with uh, these two reactions uh, hydrogen evolution and uh, absorption of the oxygen you can see hydrogen evolution and uh, absorption of oxygen hydrogen is re re released near the cathode and oxygen is released near the anode during the self discharge so here lead uh, reacts with the sulfuric acid to produce the h2 near the cathode so h2 gas is released here in this way so generally we indicate the gases with upper arrow and similarly lead dioxide also react with the acid to produce the oxygen gas near the anode so in this way you can i'm writing the upper arrow now the sulfates uh, which are left in that uh, battery uh, so after consumption of the acid so that will combine with the acid ions protons uh, produced from the dissociation of water so water also dissociated here converted to sulfuric acid in this way water is dissociated during this self discharge so that causes loss of water also so this water is evaporated during the self discharging process and not only that electrolysis of water while charging so when we put the charging uh, water may likely to undergo the electrolysis process so it uh, reduces the water so we must uh, maintain the water content uh, and monitor the water content regularly so and uh, uh, when it is less so uh, we must fill with the fill it with the distilled water next uh, one more the main disadvantage corrosion of the lead grids so corrosion of the lead grids uh, it is a acidic environment we are maintaining so this it can uh, the uh, due to overcharging when grid metal gets exposed to the electrolyte which weakens the grid and increases the internal resistance of the battery so that lead grid become weak lead is grid is oxidized damaged that weakens the grid so, so the internal 
resistance uh, of the battery also decreases and uh, effective effectiveness of battery is reduced at uh, low temperature due to increase in the viscosity of uh, electrolyte uh, this uh, uh, we can uh, observe in the cold countries or cold climates uh, generally uh, to start engine this lead acid batteries um, since uh, electrolyte is uh, liquid so when viscosity is uh, in cold countries viscosity is more so uh, general we call it as a breakdown so car cannot be started so we need to heat it for proper temperature so that we can start the engine so this is the uh, one more drawback at low temperature so eff effectiveness of these batteries reduced and uh, applications it is uh, widely used uh, in automobiles to start the automobile engines or uh, uh, you can take internal combustion engine or diesel engine and not only that uh, locomotives so locomotives uh, means a train engine and not only that it can be used as a standby or backup or emergency power supply so emergency power supply in hospitals industries even at uh, domestic purpose the ups systems are used uh, uh, used in submarines for electrical supply and ups uh, uninterrupted power supplies you can see which are connected to the computers or uh, in the companies software companies or a grid a, a group of computers uh, collectively they are connected to one a big ups so that uh, the work is uninterrupted during when we are working on the computers and not only that for lighting lighting emergency lighting purpose or lighting purpose uh, uh, at the night times and high current drain applications like trains so in the such places the this lead acid battery is more suitable it is a most used battery and most successful battery which is used used throughout the world thank you